Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So in today's video, we are gonna be planting uh, corn. And I'm actually not gonna do it in a raised bed or even in a container, but I am gonna do it in a very small spot. So right over here, here was my composting area. And so I went ahead and removed that area and I got it over here right now. But this is the small space right here that I'll be using in today's video. And as well, if you guys want to know what I did with those starts that were volunteered. Um, so I went ahead and took them up and I have them right here. So I ended up with maybe two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 10, um, 11 tomatoes and the rest squash. So here they are right here. So I went and took up as many as I could. Um, there was a ton and I decided that that was enough because I didn't know where else I would put the amazing uh, volunteers here that I did took you guys advice and took them up. I am going to go look for places to go ahead and put them. But this, this is a very small area that I will be uh, planting the corn. Now I did start my corn from seed. I went ahead and put them into these small little trays here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in. Now I do have these seeds, you guys. Um, I did purchase these from a local nursery. Uh, I did not purchase these online. And um, I ended up with so many last year that I didn't uh, harvest. So basically what happened was the little black silkworms were in my corn and I didn't want to spray them with BT because it was going to be a lot. But I decided that this year to get the corn in the big ears that I did have, but they all had uh, worms in them. I'm going to make sure that I do spray them this year. But I had an abundance of seeds though. So here they are. And um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop these babies right here into this little small spot right here. So it doesn't take much space to grow corn. Now corn is in the grass family, so it needs a lot of nitrogen at the beginning stages. Once it starts to actually put on its ears, you need to stop doing any type of fertilizing because you want it to actually go ahead and form those ears. So right here, we're gonna plant these corn roughly about between eight to 10 inches apart. And if you look really closely here, I wear a size seven so we're size seven so i'm just gonna go ahead and seven and a half and i'm just gonna go ahead and say okay i just roughly i've got roughly about 14 to 16 inches of space so i'm gonna go ahead and plant three corn in a row so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do today so let's go ahead you guys and get into this video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video let's go ahead and plant this corn So right now I'm gonna go ahead and take my cultivator. I'm gonna go ahead and cultivate this soil here. I'm gonna chop it up really, really well. And then I'm gonna add some amendments. Because this was my compost uh, spot, um, the soil is really good here. But I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I get what I need done. So I'm gonna go ahead and cultivate this, okay? And uh, we want this soil to be nice and fluffy for right now. Okay, I don't get any. Uh, most of my weeds out. And see how the soil here is right here. I'm gonna cultivate it so I can crumble, okay? With corn, corn really needs well-drained soil. This soil is not well-draining. So what I'm gonna have to do is to go ahead and amend this. I am gonna go ahead and put in some perlite into this soil to give that drainage, but corn needs a great deal of water as well. So it's like a two in one kind of thing. So we're gonna go ahead and try our best to balance out this soil.
Now I am gonna go ahead and remove any weeds that I might see and cultivate. So I have right here, I have my perlite and sprinkle this right into here. That should do. Now, with corn, corn actually have shallow roots. So you don't need to actually cultivate really deep or anything like that, but you do wanna make sure that it's well drained, okay? add this right here the uh, Espoma organic tomato tone now that's why I'm wearing gloves because I'm going to broadcast it right over top so that's roughly about four handfuls there probably so maybe maybe three and a half, four cups. I'm gonna add some blood meal. Blood meal is a great source of nitrogen, and I'm only gonna go ahead and add two handfuls of this. Now, we need that nitrogen into this soil, because like I told you guys, corn is in the grass family. And stir this in. and place my corn. Okay, so I have my corn and I'm gonna place it to see exactly where I want to place my corn. So I say yes, three in a row will be great. Now you wanna make sure your corn are close by each other because if they aren't close by each other, they won't be able to pollinate each other. And they need to pollinate each other to make those beautiful ears we're looking for. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the Job's Organic Vegetable and Tomato Granulate into each hole. Here's the root system, which you see here, okay? do recommend that you plant them in a block method. It's just basically making sure that the corns are really close to each other. 
Now last year I did plant my corn in containers and it came out wonderfully. But like I said, I had a problem with um, having the little black worms. I think they're actually called silkworms and they actually just went into my corn and demolished them. And um, yeah, I really recommend spraying them with BT if you have those issues. Now I am teasing the bottom of my corn because it almost got a little bit of root bound, but not too bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little tickle and it'll be okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going. the corn I'm going to uh, water them with a water soluble now I do have the 511 fish fertilizer and I'm going to go ahead and give this a good water to go ahead and get this uh, soil so I have my two gallon pitcher and I'm going to go ahead and use two tablespoons to my two gallon pitcher And I'm gonna go ahead and give that a stir. So I'm just gonna go and water it in. Okay, everyone, we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. I hope this was an easy way to show you guys how I go about growing my corn in a small space and as well in ground gardening. It doesn't take much, you guys, to grow a little bit into a uh, small space. And like I always tell you guys, remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.